right everyone! Hope you're well! So, the Eating Malt Stout with Pearl Barley has finished brewing. Now if you haven't seen the part 1 video, how we got to this, I'll stick the link at the top so you can see it, because it could be useful. So, it's finished, it's good to go. So I've gone ahead to save some time and I've sterilized my worktop, the bottles, the siphoning tube, my, uh, what do you call it, hydrometer. See, I got there in the end. <laughs> also the spoon, which is currently uh, over there because it's getting sterilized with boiling water, a good scorch. It dries the spoon so the sugar doesn't stick. This is cool. Right, anyway, so got a hydrometer just sitting in fresh cold water because I'm cool. Right, let's pop this in. Now, we were trying to purposely make this a higher finishing gravity. That was the plan. Uh, the idea was to try and get more mouthfeel and texture in the bottle since it is a stout. And uh, it looks pretty high. So, ooh. So that is 1.022. That's pretty high. Not what you normally want in your drink. Now, um, my brain, it's just not working. So <laughs> what, what is that? I do believe it's about 5%. I do actually think it's 5%. Better check that. So my brain wasn't working, so I went and actually checked. Because, um, you know, it's good. So it is 5%. 0.7%. I'm calling it 6% because I can't be bothered with that 0.3. It's close enough. So it's slightly higher than uh, I'd originally thought. I was going to hoping around 5%. That could be down to uh, slight measurement issues. There is slight variation. So I'm not a machine. But still, well within tolerance and it's over 5%. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bottle these up using my shiny sterile pop bottles. Ooh, very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and I will see you once I'm done and not before. So our bottling has been completed. I started off with eight bottles. I ended up with nine. I like that math. Now that's because normally I'm using a bucket when I'm brewing and there's bits, so there's always wastage. There was far less wastage, so I got the extra bottle. Foresight, fantastic. So, extra bottle, around 6%. Smells like a stout, it's bottled up. Now we need to prime it so it at least has a bit of fizz, like a, like a stout. So usually we would use carbonation drops or white sugar. It's just neutral flavored sugar for the yeast to make the bubbles. We're doing something different. Now, because we're making a stout, is it a dark beer? And uh, you can never have enough flavor in stout. I'm gonna be using some soft dark brown sugar. Now, it is darker than Demerara sugar, you know, the light brown sugar, but it's not quite molasses. It is, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> it's good for baking, you know, all that stuff. It smells really good. Caramel, molasses, brown sugar. It's my sugar sauce, <laughs> tongue twister. It's my sugar sauce for priming. So for every 500 ml bottle, or for every 500 ml of alcohol inside a bottle, you want to use around half a teaspoon or two grams worth of sugar. So uh, I've basically just got to go through, fiddle these up with brown sugar. Finger funnel. <laughs> this could be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Sort of sticky. So now every bottle has been primed and resealed. Make sure you take the sugar off of the rim, otherwise sometimes the rubber doesn't seal properly. You've got to go through and shake these up. Dissolve in that sugar. Plus it also tests for leaks. You don't want uh, it to brew away and all the gas to escape. Kind of pointless. So once they're all done, we just stick them on the side and leave them out of the way. The yeast is gonna do its thing. It's gonna take about two weeks, but then we're gonna put one in the fridge 
we're gonna come back, we're gonna sit down, and uh, we're gonna see what this tastes like. Because uh, I have no idea. It smells like a stout. In theory, it could be a stout, but uh, your guess is as good as mine. So I hope I join you. I hope I join you. I hope you join me for that. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to check out some of the other ones. And well, subscribe, comment, share, you know, do all that stuff. And uh, carry on homebrewing. See you later. <laughs>